You're just going out for a stroll today? Yeah, just enjoying. That's my adult son, uh -huh. and we're just out to enjoying the weather, spending yeah. some time together. It's excellent day. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow when it gets hot again, but mm. <laughs> this is this is perfect for me. Yeah. But yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying earlier, we're trying to do interviews as a public and understand people's perspective and get down to the reasons they have for for thinking the way they do. Okay. Um, and it, was there any particular topic that's been on your mind or that you feel passionately about that you'd like to talk about? The election coming up. The election? Sure. Yeah, we can definitely talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, what What would you say, uh, uh, what, what claim would you make about the election? I feel like it's a pivotal, the most pivotal election in my entire adult life, life wow. of Ex voting. Yeah, extremely this important. This one is the most important. Okay. And why is that? So I feel like countries are either going to go one way or the other. Okay. And it's not necessary. It's kind of scary. Yeah. The other. <laughs> what would you say is the the biggest fear for you about going in the wrong direction? Having my rights taken from me. Losing rights. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. And when you feel like the it's more pivotal than other elections, what what do you think makes it? Because is it true that like all elections can kind of go one way or the other for the most part? Yeah, but, but they just kind of stay in the in the la in the lane. You know what I mean? Like this one's just going off the road. Um, I see. With the issues we're facing in this election. Yeah. Whether we're going to stay a democracy or become an author authoritarian driven country. Gotcha. That's scary. So it, so that's what makes it feel so important because right. it feels like... You may never get to like, vote again. Yeah, I see. After this. Got it. Um, why do you think... Why do you think it's riskier this time for this election than, than previous elections? Um, at the li the risk of losing democracy, where do you think that comes from? Because how dirty politics has gotten. Okay. The January six riots, mm. and all the criminal charges, and all the officials that worked in the last administration, and all mm. the just law breaking, un unashamed law breaking. Mm. It's it's just gotten to the point where it's so scary, like. I don't even know what the rules are anymore for life, you know, it's, they're not well defined like they used to be to me. Right. And how confident would you be that, that, like, if you were to say, is it fair to say that it's almost like democracy is on the ballot at this point? Um, and as a female, yeah. my whole existence of, of who I am, is what it means to be a female in this country yeah. is on the ballot. Okay. So how how confident are you that this is this is the most important uh, election regarding democracy and in my autonomy? lifetime, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Okay. So there's no doubt in your mind at this point. No. What um, what do you think a person who might disagree with you? Right. What do you think they would say? Uh, well, they would probably um, not care about my feelings. Mm. I think it depends on what their background and their history is like. Are they, you know, driven by religion? Are they driven by, like, their gender's different, so they see things differently? Their mm. life experiences are different, you know what I mean? But it just seems like... I feel like a lot of men think they need, they have a right to tell me what I can and can't do with my body, mm -hmm. and I don't feel like it's in your business. Right. I don't think that you should have that kind of control over anybody. Yeah. I just think it's wrong. So it, it strips me of a lot of my identity if I don't have control of my own, of my own body. Right. So it feels like people who don't think that this election is about democracy. They have these. Uh, they want to vote the uh, other way. I think they way. don't take it seriously. Okay. The stuff that's being said is going to be done. 
Mm. I think they think people are just saying that just to get right. attention, but that's real, they're really not going to do it. I believe they're really going to do it. Yeah. What do you think? They've already done. So they've already passed six week board bans and got it uh, in all these states, and I mean they've already flipped the Supreme Court. Right. It's so corrupt. That's scary. So the uh, if and I assume we're talking about if Trump were to be elected, right? Then they would implement these abortion bans and uh, IVF bans. Gotcha. Uh, birth control bans, nephropreston bans. Gotcha. I mean, anything to be when we're dealing with woman bans. Right. Yeah. And and would that be a threat to Next democracy? Thing you know, or there... I won't be able to vote because I'm a woman. Right. I won't be able to own property because I'm a woman. Mm. I won't be able to leave my house without my husband's permission. It's a slippery slope. You see what yeah. I'm saying? That's why I'm afraid. I see. You don't have anything to worry about, so it's not forefront of your mind like it is in mine. Right. Just because our genders are different. Yeah. Not that you're a bad person or sure. you don't care. It's yeah. just not something you have to deal with every day. I think right. about it every day. I have two wow. granddaughters that I want to protect their rights. Yeah. I want them to have the same rights I did, and they don't. That's yeah. sad. That's yeah. really sad. And it scares me to death. It's like, what else are they going to do? Right. They never stop it just that. It's always way worse than they say it's going to be. And if they're already saying that, how bad is it going to be? Women are already dying. So it sounds like rights for women uh, and the, the freedoms that women have it's right now. Self-determination, yeah. Yeah, that that's... You don't have them. You, you do, I don't. Right. Right now, does it feel different already? Yeah. There's women dying in Texas and Georgia. Yeah. So even under the current administration, yeah. it's still not. Yeah, because the states have control now because the Supreme Court overturned right. Roe v. Wade. So the current federal administration and with the lock jam in Congress with the, you know, mm -hmm. having to have a two thirds vote in our country, you know, there's never two thirds of a majority in the Congress and nothing ever gets passed. Right. The president is always locked, hands are locked, so they can't do nothing because the Congress is always done. And the Supreme Court is corrupt. They're going to, you know what I mean? So, like, there's no yeah. hope. There's no hope. No, mm. it just takes your hope away when, you know, the, the game is rigged. Mm. Is, so thinking about between the, the, because we started talking about initially the threat to democracy mm -hmm. and then I can hear how passionate you are about, as we all should be, I think, about rights of women. So are those two separate issues in your mind? or They like, all fall under okay. the umbrella of democracy. Okay. Freedom. Gotcha. What it is to be an American. I see. Freedom. So the threat to democracy for you is about the threat to freedoms. Right. And and in, in your particular case, you know, we're... We're focused on that, on those issues related to gender. Yeah. Okay, I see. I don't have the same rights as you. I have yeah. less yeah. rights than you. They would not give me the death penalty for getting an abortion in some states. Right. That's nothing you ever have to worry about. That's not fair that just because of the, I'm, I'm born a female, I don't have the same rights as everybody else. Yeah. Like, who thinks they have the right to tell me that? I just don't, I can't wrap my head around that. Oh. I, I can understand you don't have to believe in abortion. Don't have one. But stay out of my business. Do you think, do you think there, uh, what do you think the women who might vote for Trump, why do you think they might vote Religion. that way? Religion. Religion. And a lot of women were raised by misogynistic hmm. Christian based families where they were raised to believe that they're second class citizens and that, that all they can are, are useful for is to be some, um, you know, on, on the arm of some dude and, and popping babies out their whole life. That's right. all they're ever worth in life. Not that's not everybody wants that life. Mm. But you're almost made to feel in, a, in, in, a, in, in religious homes that um, that's your only choice. If you do anything outside of that, you're, you're doing something wrong. Mm. You know? Yeah. And, uh, it, hmm. it's, it's disheartening. Yeah, it. I can see why this would feel so important if, if it feels like 
this is the beginning. It's not the beginning. It's, well, Trump it's, said he's going to have a national yeah. abortion ban if he gets in there. So they yeah. federally illegal in all states. So right. there will be nowhere to go. Yeah. It'll be driven underground, and then people will really start to die. And then the crime, you think the drug problem was bad? Wait till that yeah. breaks out. Because women aren't going to not have abortions. Yeah. They're not being realistic. They're just going to drive it underground. Have you, in in your lifetime, do you remember having an election where, where you lost rights um, and freedoms? No. No. Okay. Wow. This so it's always sort of felt like a progress towards yeah, I, more. Yeah, both sides didn't like each other and they disagreed on things, but mm. they all agreed we were all Americans, we all loved our country, and we all wanted our freedom. Mm. They mm. loved their country more than they loved their party, so when people started acting crazy, they didn't just go along to get along like they're doing right. these days. Right. When they yeah. see people doing obviously lying or obviously doing wrong things, they just go along with it. Is there anything that you've personally done to try and uh, impact the election? I vote. Yeah. I get as many people to vote as I can. I take people to the polls. Right. I make, I stay aware of the issues. I make other people aware of the issues. My kids all vote. Yeah. And I just try to be the change I want to see. That's awesome. Cool. That's the only thing I can do. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I owe it to the people that have died. From me to have a right to vote, mm -hmm. all the suffragettes that went to jail, right, uh, and went through hell, so I could vote, and I'm not going to show up. Really, shame yeah. on you for that. Yeah. So if, if on November fifth you find out that, I'm moving to Canada. Yeah. I, I'd like to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would just, you would see that that's what you mean by there's no hope. After that, I election. literally have my a passport application yeah. in progress right now. Just wow. I, that's how bad I don't want to be here. Yeah, yeah. Canada's government and social structure is more to my liking than here anyway. Yeah. So if you were to get to go off to Canada mm -hmm. and then you were living there, what would you want to see in the United States before coming back? A woman president. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't care how qualified she was. Hmm. I just, I think she's uh, clearly the obvious candidate. Yeah. But I think because she's a woman, a lot of men are just not going to vote for her because she's a woman. And they're yeah. just not even going to consider and it. And it feels they, like... They just can't yeah. move forward in their brain. That's just not something that's imprinted on them and they don't get it. And... They freaks men out so bad. They're terrified of, one, of a woman yeah. president. I don't get that. It's like... Because other countries have had women leaders. Mm -hmm. It feels We're like the it's United a... States. What's yeah. up? Right. With that? I don't the, get it. It sounds like... It feels impossible for... Uh, for a male president to understand... It's easier to be a black man than a, yeah. than a female in this country. Yeah. And get elected. Do you think, are you able to understand other people's perspective when you're not? I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know. I just, I don't understand a lot of what's going on. I don't understand why people think they have a right to tell me what to do. Yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't see how I can change that. I don't. That's just a fundamental, that's my right to my body. Right. I don't understand how anybody feels that inside their head they have the right to you know better than me what mm. i need for my life yeah you know better than my doctor you know better than everybody that knows me what i need for my life mm. where does that come from that's a great question yeah i don't understand it yeah where did we get socialized to think that was okay when did that happen? It's a lot of subtle undertones to misogyny that we don't, people don't realize is happening, but it's happening. Yeah. It's the way women are treated, you know what I mean? If, if we did want to try and understand where, that, where those feelings come from, is there, is there any way we can gain understanding? 
for the other side. Live in a woman's shoes for a week. Right. And have to put up with what she's got to put up with. Well, I mean, for <laughs> if if we're trying to understand, right. or if you're trying to understand why a person would would want to take these rights away, well, is there a way that that because you said you it was hard to understand where they get that mindset, right? A lot of it's religious based, and they feel like it's, it's a yeah. Christian country. Everything should be Christian and done, and mm. Everybody that's non-Christian should just conform. It okay. So it sounds because like you feel that's like was Christian based on the get. Yeah. So until the Hun was until the Hun, but they're not like right. that anymore. We've cool. evolved. So that's BS to me. Okay. Awesome. Well, I, I don't think I have any more questions right now. I feel like I understand I me talk. your perspective. No, no, no. I have very it's, strong opinions about it's this. It's good. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate your conversation. And I don't know, David. Did you have any? thoughts or questions you got to hear Kim's ideas the only thing I would maybe ask is freedom is the main reason right mm -hmm. freedom is the main reason you're voting a certain way mm -hmm. um, why is freedom a good reason to vote a certain way um, because I want to have control over my life not you not somebody in an office somewhere that He's going to put his needs before mine and obstruct my rights mm -hmm. for that. Um, I want to be able to go out and do what I want to do for, or, you know, to earn money and uh, work and right. own homes or buy cars or go shopping or leave my house or travel or whatever without permission from the government or my husband or yeah. anybody like that. Yeah. And then you said religion is the reason you think other people vote the other way. Mm. I think it's a large part. Not everybody, but the large, the largest proportion of it is um, Christian nationalism. Mm. So why do you suppose religion is not a good reason to vote a certain way? I guess if you believe in your religion, it, for you, it is a good reason to vote that way. But to me, right. if why, you're taking people's rights away based religion. on your religion, right. there's something fundamentally wrong with that idea with me. Mm. Be religious, but don't tell me what to do. That's crossing a boundary that I feel is, is, is uncrossable. Right. I have the right to stop you and say, no, you're not going to tell me what to do. Mm. There's, there needs to be a boundary, do you know what I mean, between you, t you know, having the right to tell me what kind of health care, whether I'm allowed to vote. Yeah, even if it is against their religion. Like, it wasn't until yeah. 1962 the women could own property without their husband's permission in this country. Right. We're not far from serious misogyny here. Yeah. And they want to go back so bad. Mm. They're pining for those days. For some reason, men think it was great because I guess they had better control over women. Mm. But um, I guess they can't handle competition. I don't know mm. what it is, but I'm irritated. At yeah. this point, I'm tired of being talked at mm. and down to and and told by Congress that they can pay you less than they pay him for the same work. Mm. And it's legal. Do you think you feel that like Congress is saying that? It's a yeah. problem for me. Mm. That's going to drive me to the polls. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. How would you feel if it? Think, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I can. If you couldn't own home right. without my, your wife's permission. Right. Yeah, that. Think about that for a minute. Absolutely. Cop's attitude too, wouldn't you? Right. If you sat on that for a few minutes, mm -hmm. you couldn't own a home unless your wife said so. Right. Really? Yeah, I'm glad that we do have those freedoms <laughs> exactly. for now. Sure. That's why women yeah. have such a chip on their shoulder about this. Mm. Because when you put a man in that position and say, look, you can't leave the house unless your wife says it's okay. You right. can't own property. You can't have an abortion. You can't travel outside the country. You can't vote without your wife's permission. Yeah. I think you have a fundamental problem with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. And I, and I think people should have the right to practice their religion as long as they're not practicing on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Practice it on you, but don't inflict everything you want to do on me. 
we should all have enough boundaries in this country that people can do what they, everybody can have their own religion and, and do what they want as long as we're all safe and you know right. what I mean yeah it feels like that you know a lot of people would say that conservatives were the party of like freedom right that they they didn't want the government oh that's all flipped. it used yeah. to be back when lincoln was president right i would have been on the other side yeah back then but it's not that way anymore yeah i think Link, lincoln would be like shaking his head right now going what the hell have y'all done with what i've given you mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah i think yeah. he's upset right <laughs> right cool awesome. you know to think that we're on the brink of another civil war in this country right that we can't have um, peaceable disagreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That we're gonna hang people that don't give give us our way. Yeah, I think. Come on, man. Yeah, peaceable disagreement is definitely something uh, that we need more of in the country for right. sure. Yeah. Healthy debate and yeah. peaceful disagreement, but like storming the Capitol and killing people and hang people because they won't alter the Constitution for you. Mm. That's. There's something wrong here. Yeah, yeah. I may not know exactly what it is that's wrong, but what, this is wrong. Cool. And it scares the shit out of me. I'm sorry. I, I mean, <laughs> you're good, you're good. <laughs> it scares me to death. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. This isn't the same. I, I wish, I, I longed for the 70s and 80s when I grew up. Mm. Those were the good old days. I felt like I had more rights then than I do now. Really? Wow. Yeah. It's sad. I had to sit and watch Congress vote. I watched C-SPAN and watched the men come up one by one and vote against women having equal pay for the same, doing the same work mm. with a straight face. Yeah. What can you possibly say to me to tell me that that's okay to do to me? If I'm doing the same job as you, right. the exact same job, why do you get paid more than me? How would you like to be told yeah. I need more money than you because you're a man? You get paid less. Sure. Yeah, I can see why that would be extremely frustrating. Yeah. 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 And I think, I hope, and I, I really feel this is going to happen that the women are going to come out of the cracks and they're going to show up in November. Like, I think they, they've. You think it'll be kicked, kind of a. They kicked the dog and you're getting ready to get bit. Uh huh. Yeah. It shouldn't be a, a close call. You're, no. you're expecting. I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's going to be as close as they like to. I, yeah. I, th I think a lot of people lie to pollsters. Mm -hmm. They lied about Hillary. They had mm -hmm. her up by big numbers in right. that election. She lost. I don't think polls are ever right. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. I, but I think people are, are fundamentally frightened of uh, him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dick Cheney is back in Kamala Harris. Yeah, true. I saw that in the news. I mean, who yeah. ever thought yeah. that would happen? You yeah. know, waterboarding Dick, you know what I mean? <laughs> Once back to Kamala Harris, you know things yeah. are really bad when that happens. All right. So. Yeah. Awesome. Interesting. Well, thank you so much for your <laughs> yeah, time. Thank I really you. appreciate you sitting I down with us. I hope it was helpful. Us. Yeah, well, and I hope you enjoyed the conversation. You know, it's... Uh, I'm not going to find that you're a Christian nationalist when I get home. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. You, you, yeah. Yeah. No problem. I'll grab that mic whenever you. Oh yeah. Go ahead. I don't want to break it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, you. Yeah. yeah enjoy, enjoy the rest, the rest of your of walk. Day. Yeah. Uh, make sure you go vote. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I already got my ballot filled in. You do a um, mail-in ballot. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I'm gonna show up. You gotta like, do it in person, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our grandmother, when I was a kid growing up, was an um, election judge. Oh, wow, and we cool. would always have school off because they would yeah. pull in place for the elementary school. Yeah. And I was always go up there and watch my grandma, and I was, uh, I couldn't wait till I grew up and I could vote. Sure. Because I was, I was uh, all the whole, whole process. Yeah. She was the elected treasurer in Frederick County when I was a kid, too. So yeah. I was inundated with awesome. politics yeah. growing up. Um, feel free Thanks to for scan the QR code Appreciate if you want to see yeah. where the see the channel where the interviews go. Yeah, let me do that. Yeah. Um, and if you get a hold of me on there, I can share uh, Brendan's yeah. um, channel too. Yeah. Okay. 
Sometimes if you just go like you're taking a picture, it'll yeah. pop up too. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you would have Oh, do I need to do anything nope. with this? Thank you. Nope. Just uh take care. Yeah, I think you would have done better on that one. I normally like to do like a debrief right afterwards yeah. um while it's still fresh. Oh, do you want to talk politics? Yeah. Cheers <laughs> open. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, while it's still fresh in in your in your mind, uh -huh. uh, but we had a really good problem the other day at University of Maryland. We just kept getting yeah interlocutors, and we weren't able right, to do that's true. Debrief, yeah, yeah, yeah. which, like I said, it's a good it's a good problem to have. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you feel about that one? Like, yeah. I liked being able to get to be a sounding board for, you know, but there, I didn't feel like there was reflection achieved and couldn't even quite nail down a claim. And, you know, it was the, uh, it was kind of all over the place and even shifting perspectives, like couldn't, couldn't get that to happen either. And so, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't wild about it. I mean, I, I, I enjoy the conversation. Awesome person, but like, yeah, definitely felt like I should have been able to. I don't know, find the right question, but sometimes you can't. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, do you? What else would you have asked if you had the chance? Like, do you feel like you asked everything that you could have? No. Um, I mean, we we certainly could have continued the conversation. I could ask more questions, but what question could I have asked that might have? Because we started getting into like the quality of the reasons, right? Like freedom being a reason. Yeah, I liked I liked the path you were going down that way of why why is religion not a good reason. And not, not compelling uh, to her, in other words. Yeah, yeah. But I I think it'd be too easy to just respond, like, my religion, either either I'm not religious or my religion isn't going to restrict other people's freedoms. And I think it would be very easy to kind of dismiss that, too. Uh -huh. um, and, like, it's, it's using freedom better a good enough reason yeah to be as confident as she is and who she's voting for right i think it would have been nice to have gotten to um to a falsification question of if if trump were elected and then you you don't see freedoms erode or something like that. Would that change your mind? But change your mind about what, right? I yeah. still have to phrase that in a way. Would that make you think that we're not, that democracy is not at risk or that we're not losing, that women aren't losing freedom? Something along those lines. I don't know. If she were a man, would she still vote for the same way? Oh, I love that. Yeah. That or, would or would she have just as much confidence and who to vote for, and that might have given you another reason. Yeah, and that one is nice because then we can at least get to the point of, are there any men voting for Harris, right? Why would they do that? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Why do Why do you suppose men vote for Harris? Yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. It's It's also tricky because I don't, I don't want to spend too much time trying to get people to uh, 
speculate on other people's reasoning if they're not using it to reflect on their own reasoning. And so I do still think that's a good question. I still think that would be a, a nice way to go, but uh -huh. uh, yeah. Well, I kind of like how you were going for a second there about how do we understand other people? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, she wasn't taking the bait, but <laughs> yeah, wasn't. Because she was settled that she already did. She yeah. already understood people. And it was about other people understanding her. That uh -huh. was the, the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Something to think about. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that's definitely been my toughest interview in a while. Let's say you run into her after November 5th. Yeah. And Trump is elected. Yeah. What would you ask her? Are you still going to Canada? It's <laughs> my first question. I mean, yeah. Like, did you change your mind on that? Yeah. And why? Yeah. Is there hope? Yeah, that that was the thing that I yeah. that I was interested in like cuz she was saying for a second that there was no hope. Right. And then she was saying that there was hope because the women are going to come out. Yeah, there's only I think I took it that there is no hope if he's elected. Oh, I see. I think that's okay. Why there's no hope? Gotcha, and that's why she would move. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think there's still a. a ray what would of hope cause at the you? Moment. What would cause you to stay in the United States if Trump were elected? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a good question. My bet is at the moment she would say nothing. Uh huh. I think. That's what it sounded like. Very confident. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Well, you could probably use that experience if sure. that subject comes up again. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sounds like it might. Sounds like. <laughs> um, do you have anything to say about the other day? Mm. Just while we're doing this kind of debrief. Do right. You, do you have any thoughts on on that? You had four interviews, right? Mm hmm Just like I a... guess, well, in general, when talking about normative claims, as you say, what do you, what are some of your favorite approaches with that? Um, I think it depends on, I think it depends on my What's the best way to say it? It it depends on the IL. Mm -hmm. um, I think it can be easier to pull back that layer to find out what truth claim right. or truth claims are supporting that should or ought. Because mm -hmm. theoretically... If they shift their confidence on that truth claim that's supporting the normative claim, right, it would follow that they would shift their confidence in the normative claim, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that, but you don't have to you don't have to pull back that layer if you don't sure. if you don't want to. Um, but I think the questions are are pretty close to the same, mm -hmm. um, or at least they should be. Yeah. Uh, what what supports this? What would raise? What would lower? Right. Um, falsification, testing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I should go back to the basics too. I, I, it's easy to lose track in the conversation and get engaged in the particular topic and not use some of the the tried and true questions like that. Um, so I might try that again this next round. Do you have a normative claim in mind that you're... Well, like, well, with Kim, it would be something like, you know, we should be electing 
Kamala Harris. And uh-huh. you, but then we got quickly into the reason is that democracy is at stake. She'll lose her rights and the freedom if yeah. Trump is elected. Yeah, that's the claim. That's yeah. that's the claim that supporting that yes. should claim. Yeah. So, um, if how how does she know that? Right. And I gather it's because of what he's said in the past. Mm-hmm. The people that he's put in yeah. power to make those decisions. Um, but I'm just speculating. Yeah, no, I mean, that's pretty much what she said. Yeah, that's yeah. what I took from it, too. Yeah. So if, sure. if that were to not be true, mm-hmm. how would that affect her confidence in the normative claim? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't close the loop on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. We'll try to get another one, huh? For sure.